everyone, my name is Eileen and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a warrior one pose. It's a really great pose to build strength, stability, as well as focus. So, ready? Join me on the mat. We're going to start at the top of our mats. Standing in mountain pose, your Tadasana. And you're going to take a step back with your right foot, as far back as you can. And now, notice that the toes of the back foot pointed in about a 45 degree angle. Right? So turn it up, pivot it a little bit if it doesn't go there. And now shift your hips, rotate them so that they're facing the front edge of the mat, square to the front. And notice that the back leg is straight and you're pressing the rooting through to that back foot, pressing out to the outer edges of that back foot. And now you're going to want to go ahead and just bend the front knee, bend the front knee, notice that. The knee is stacked over the front ankle. You're pressing through the front foot as well. So in both directions, really grounding through to the earth. And now, let's come up to the core. Core is engaged. So twist, rotate a little bit more if your hips are not square. You're pressing down, rooting through and using all that core strength. Keep yourself, holding yourself up. Lengthening up, all the way up, right? And now with an inhalation, you're going to lift the arms up, palms facing each other. And lifting the heart up, spreading, widen across the collarbones. And if you don't have any neck issues, go ahead and lift your gaze to the ceiling. If not, gaze forwards is perfectly fine as well. So notice, try bring yourself in the center your weight in the center you're not pushing forward neither are you leaning back and that front knee is not coming over the ankle too much that will cause a lot of compression so bring it back a little bit if it has gone travel a little bit further you're trying to bring that knee in line with your second toe and from here let's hold for another five counts in five four three two and one exhale palms go down straightening that left foot that left leg i should say and we step back in the beginning so now we step it forwards and that's one side that once you do one side you're gonna go ahead and do the other side haven't we so now stepping back with the left foot toes at a 45 degree angle now let's go ahead and bend the front knee this time so try to get the back of this thigh, the front thigh, parallel to the ground. But if it doesn't yet, that's fine. More importantly, like I said earlier, is not to overextend and come over there. Right? So bring it back. Core is nice and engaged. Nice and strong in this pose. Let's go ahead. Inhale. Lift the palms up. Adjusting yourself. As you look at your alignment, check yourself. Be aware. And now, gaze up to the hands, or forwards, you choose what works for you, work with your body. And now let's hold for 5 more counts here, in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, exhale, palms go down, and we step it forward, there you have it. Warrior One Pose. I hope you found that video useful. I did it as part of um, the team from Union Yoga Ayurveda Singapore to promote World Yoga Day. And depending on when you're watching this video, I hope that you did join us for the Facebook Live sessions. And if you're watching this prior to the 21st of June 2020, do save that day and do join us 9am to 4pm on Facebook Live for free yoga sessions. Do check out the Facebook page, that's Union Yoga Ayurveda Singapore. Join us if you can. Otherwise, other than that, hope you're having a great week. Do subscribe to my channel for more free weekly yoga and fitness videos. Till next time, Eileen signing off. Please see you soon. Bye! Happy practicing champs. I remember, I remember.